is going on, Wolfpack Nation? Welcome to another episode of the Tuffy Talk Live Show, baby. Really appreciate y'all tuning in here once again. As we're excited to get rolling here today, so we got a ton, ton to get to here today. But first of all, obviously, we got myself, Greg, and Ken's here. Uh, Making should be joining us here momentarily. Uh, but first of all, again, I want to thank everybody for, for their. Uh, Willingness to, to, I guess, flexibility is a word, as we obviously have been doing the live shows not on Mondays recently, obviously due to the holidays. And then yesterday, you know, I, I we, we figured that everybody would want to watch that nail biter of a championship game. <laughs> it just, I mean, was just on the edge of my seat for the first two seconds. Like I was just on the edge of my seat for like two seconds. And then once the, 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 the coin flip, it was done. Yeah, pretty much. And then I, I literally messaged the crew. Be they like, scored. Yeah, they scored one time. Relax. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> it was close for the first three minutes. Yeah, they held yeah. their best receiver to their their best rece- their best wide receivers had more than two receiving yards. So I mean, boom, right. take that. So uh, yeah, no, I literally messaged like thought about messaging the crew, being like. All right, do you guys actually want to do this? <laughs> I think we could do it right now. I don't yeah, think anybody's just, watching that game. Nobody's watching anymore. Nobody. No, we'll the go, views we'll go just went rolling. down. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Russell. Thank yeah. you. But uh, yeah, definitely. Again, yes, Russell. Obviously, got to give a shout out to our girl Cans for finally being back on the show. So thank goodness for that. Finally got her back on. So I'm looking forward to uh, hearing some more of her her Ken's thoughts for sure. Crazy uh, help. Yeah, Kenzie talk, exactly. Uh, but first of all, obviously, you know, for those who have been a part of the live show before, you know the drill. Uh, for those who uh, have not been a part of the show, basically just send any comment that you have or at least just say, hey, just like just like Christian and Russell and all they were doing, just say, hey, we'd love to know uh, who is tuning in here with us. But if you have any questions, thoughts, topics that you would like for us to get to, uh, just put them in the comments. And again, we'll definitely get to as many if not all of them uh and uh, we'll make sure to touch on each of them so first of all gotta give a shout out to, to nicholas first of all saying what's up everyone what's up nicholas appreciate you tuning in here. and then uh michelle uh points out that it does make sense because uh she points out that it's a terrific toughy talk tuesday so a mouthful. I, I do like that I do five like, times i do like that ring for sure yeah um and then uh obviously rusty and uh christian giving the love to cans finally having her back on the show but with that being said First and foremost, obviously, got to talk about the, you know, the elephant in the room for sure, which is men's basketball is back. Natty champs, baby. Mark? I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all three months ago. Yeah. No one yeah. Knows question, me. question mark. I mean, I mean, exclamation it, it's point. There's exclamation no point. point. Okay. All right. I, I mean, like it. I like it. Hey, we'll find out Saturday. I'm telling you, we'll truly get find real, out real quick. Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I, not to necessarily say that, I mean, the two wins up until this point with uh, beating Duke at home and winning at Virginia Tech, which Greg was at personally, and I know Greg will kind of give you in here, but uh, obviously facing Miami, number 12 Miami, if I'm not mistaken, at home yes. Saturday afternoon at 12 o'clock p.m. So, Greg, but tell us your thoughts on, 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 the, Ken, on the Virginia Tech game, brother. Well, actually, I just wanted to touch base real quick on both Duke and Virginia Tech. Two games in a row we have led from start to finish had not been down. So and like the Duke game wasn't a lead; it was a straight no, up. No, it, 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 that was a that yeah. was a butt that was a butt whooping. Yeah, <laughs> an old fashioned donkey stomp, as yeah. someone likes to I say. I like that. I'm gonna start saying that. Yeah, um, but yeah, I can't remember the last time we can say that we've led two consecutive games wire to wire. I honestly, um, it. Yeah, I don't know, but um, mm-hmm. uh, as far as Virginia Tech, um. Look, great, great road win. Um, you know, again, uh, a hostile environment. Uh, it was about 95% full in there. Um, and it got a little dicey a couple times. Um, the last minute was weird, to say the mm-hmm. least. Um, yeah. But, Scary. Yeah, but hey, made free throws, right? So that's what matters. Exactly. No, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing, honestly, which I think, uh, you know, it's 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 great to to see kind of you kind of close out games because I mean I think everybody knew especially since Virginia Tech Virginia Tech's a really good basketball team I mean obviously the one they see a, a championship last right. year and they retained a lot of that crew uh, heading into this year you're in a hostile environment you know in the Cassell Coliseum or is it Cassell Castle. Stadium Castle. Yeah. Castle 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 Coliseum Castle Coliseum exactly yes. uh so you know uh you know but but the fact that 
we were able because again it, basketball is a hundred percent it's a game of of, of runs it's just mm-hmm. just just basically weathering the runs and you knew uh since virginia tech did not play well shoot well in the first half that they were going to come out all shots firing second half and they did and uh, even they're late in the game i mean they really did make some huge shots uh you know to keep themselves to give themselves a chance Oh exactly, God. but hey, we, we we did what it took to win the fo- to win the basketball game. Yeah, so we're basketball now. We're basketball yeah. now. Yeah, we yeah, too. I mean, hey, hey, hey. Hey, so, if, if we would scored that many points, we would a lot of we would have won a lot of football games. So uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, true. I think this team is just like you can tell just the connection that they have is different. Like yeah. from yeah. the bench players to the starters, and it's mm-hmm. like we haven't had it in a while. Where if one person's having a bad night. We have like six or seven more that can step up and actually yeah. like hold, like have that like carry that weight for them. And we haven't had that in yeah. forever. So that have having that with like Jarkel, uh, Baby T, oh, Girl Man T, Casey, mm-hmm. DJ yeah, Burns. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, DJ Burns, fan favorite. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah. Better than oh, he was awesome. Hate-Bot. I got to talk to him after the game and his parents, um, super nice people. Um, he's so the, funny. Oh, he's so funny. And like the glasses he were he was wearing, they weren't like for style. It, it is because of his eye when yeah, he got he hit for Duke. Be. Um, I, know, I saw oh, some really? people were like, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, hey, he could pull it off. He, that's a cool look anyway. But he could, play, uh, he could wear those in a game, and he could. We, it would hype us up. Like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I think you hit it on the head, Layton. Like the way we responded in both the Duke and the Virginia tech game, um, both games, the uh, opponent came out hitting some shots right after the, the break. And then we just responded, um, you know, in the, in the Duke game, it was the eight points basically in a row by, uh, by, by baby T um, that steal that he had, and then put it up the three. That was a beautiful uh, piece of, mm-hmm. uh, of magistry. And then yeah. um, um, on, on Saturday, I thought we did a really good job. Um, who was it? Logan, you said at the defensive intensity, um, ha- it has been amazing. The way we're forcing turnovers, the, the one negative I will say is we still need to do a better job of clogging the middle, um, not allowing people to drive and penetrate to the basket um, yeah. or do like slip screens. But other than that, I thought we've done a really good job defending the perimeter. Um, teams have not been shooting very well against us. Um, and mm-hmm. You know, that just goes to playing hard. And, hey, our press has been doing a good job. It may not create a turnover yeah. um, off of that, but it, it's like it, it gets the team out of the other team out of its rhythm. Uh, and, they, they, you know, they're not able to run and, and do what they want to do. So if we keep that up, mm-hmm. um, look, right now we've, we've moved inside the uh, – uh, well, by the way, did anyone see today's bracketology? Did anyone see that? Yeah, we were put as a eight, nine seed. Nine nine seed. seed. But did you see what yeah. was next to our name? Which no. was weird. It was weird. What was it? What was Automatic it? Automatic qualifier. Oh, interesting. So what does that mean? Yeah, it that means, means you're thinks we're means Joe, you're Joe Lenardi, I guess thinks that we're going to win the ACC uh, as of today. So, wow. I don't know. Hey, yeah. that's what you like to hear. Y'all should have yeah. told me that. Yeah. <laughs> well, me that. well, but also too. I mean, if we win the ACC championship. I mean, being I'm a nine seed, it's like, but I mean, but I'm also like, man, the AC champion being a nine seed, I don't know about that. I know that's that like, would be, that's, that's that would be weird. news in itself. That would be news in itself for sure. Yeah. Um, but definitely. In the, and the other thing too, which I got to point out is in both games, we came out ready to play mm-hmm. from the moment the, the ball got the put in there. second half, we came out ready to play. That doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> yep. True. It's like True. the second yeah. half, we're on like a downward spiral. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. So, again, just love, you know, and, and Michelle talks about the love and encouragement the players have for one another. So apparent and great to see. Uh, I mean, again, th- there's no doubt these guys play for one another. And I mean, because also, too, I mean, like, I think all of us thought that when we got the news that Jack Clark was out for the Duke game, we were like, oh, crap. I mean, that's uh, that's 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 a piece for sure. <laughs> that's, that's not that a, I'd say a big piece. But that's a piece. Exactly. Yeah. And so uh, but I mean, for both games, for us to look really well really good on both sides of the ball i mean it's well, nothing short of impressive and, 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 and go ahead go ahead kids go ahead and, and we don't have isaiah miranda yet yeah and yeah, dusan really, yeah. is gonna be back so it's like just like well, they're yeah. the guys are just stepping up like crazy like the bench players are actually like balling out well, they could be actual mm-hmm. starters yeah and that actually leads me to my point is we've done a really good job of rebounding the last couple games and jack clark was our leading rebounder before he went out um, you mm-hmm. know, the Greg Gantz of the world, like 
like welcome back greg gant greg right? gant. games in a greg row gant. wow um you know, yeah. it, it, you got Greg Gant, you got EB, and you got Ross. They're not going to give you points, right? But they gave you a defensive presence, and they gave you rebounding. And, look, we had, I think it was 11 offensive rebounds against Virginia Tech. And those mm-hmm. are second-chance points uh, that you you need. And uh, um, t- to for us and to we had 13 there, against Duke. We had yeah, 13 okay. against Duke. Oh, yeah. yeah, so 24 mm-hmm. offensive rebounds is quite impressive because I- normally – it's, you know, one and done, you know, you shoot, you miss, and you're back on defense. 24 yeah. extra chances. Uh, I, I would be curious to how many points we got out all over that. But um, I, I remember like two mm-hmm. or three sequences where it was like two or three rebounds, and then we we, we we put up a shot and made it. I think that was in the Duke game. Um, yeah, we had like – we got like five of them. Yeah, then, on we, one sequence. Yeah. But it just goes back to the hustle, right? Like it's – rebounding is all about mentality and want to. Um, it's easy to just, you know, kind of turn your back and run back down the court or just kind of just flop your arms out. These guys are wanting to go and get rebounds, and that's that's a big part of what we're doing right now. Rebounds yeah. and defense. Like our mm-hmm. defense looked absolutely amazing. And I'm – of course, I'm probably being biased, but it looked absolutely amazing <laughs> against Duke. LJ Never. Thomas – that is I uh, that is one of the best defensive players I've seen in a long time. He's starting like, to get more comfortable. Yeah, like Greg yep. says, he's not going to give you as many points, but he's going to lay his body out on the line on defense the mm-hmm. entire time he's in. Yep. And it's yeah. I'm I'm just I'm impressed with how they've been coming out. Kevin Keats is a yeah. winner. He's won me back. <laughs> hey. I, I, I wish I I saw it on on uh, on some social media, but did anyone see the reaction from the Duke manager um when Jarkel made that shot? Um, yeah. He was just like, he was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it was yeah. the best reaction. It uh-huh. was. I just made me laugh. I no, rerun it like three times to find that it. game. We were so mad because like I got uh, one of my friends who's a student didn't go, so she gave me her ticket, and we were ready to rush. I mean, baby T and them were telling us to rush the court, and security came up to us and said, "If y'all rush it, go around to the goals," because we didn't do that a couple years ago. We just jumped yeah. the seats and like knocked down people as you we were going. But this yeah. is another reason I don't like Teddy Valentine. He looks at us. I want I want to see if this makes sense to y'all. He no, looks at us. Hold on, hold on. You don't even have to finish what you're saying. You just said right? Teddy Valentine. <laughs> no, but he listen yeah. to this. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He goes, You can't rush until both teams are in the tunnel. Yeah. I was like, then yeah. we can do that in the parking lot. What's the point of rushing? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, well, we don't want to yeah. now. Like it's not fun if it's just us out yeah. there. But yeah. baby T was like upset about it because he was at the wolf and like looking at us like, well, why aren't y'all out here? So I had, I tweeted at him and I was like, look, we tried. They, I do yeah. like though, like, like he said, like minimum at the bell tower. Like honestly, there were a lot of people that went there too. I would, I was, I, I, look, I'm 45. If I was in the area, you best believe I'd be at the bell tower just having a good old time because <laughs> this part that's what heard. it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah. So Amen. I've just never heard no. that before. And that, that was no, what. Well, it, it, well, and see, and see, here's me too. Like, cause I was really actually kind of conflicted on if I thought we should storm the quarter or not. Yeah. I mean, from from one side, I'm saying yes because of the fact that I mean, look at last year, we were the laughing stock of the ACC. This year, I mean, we were staring one and five in the face, and we come out and just give Duke the business. Uh, and so I'm saying, yeah, that was a big win for us for sure. Yeah. But also too, I mean, for the guys, baby. I, I think by that. the end of this, I think by the end of this season, Duke is going to kind of show out as they're a solid team, but definitely not the Duke of old for sure. Definitely not. So, so yeah. that, that that's kind of another thing too. Is it's like okay, you know, number you beat 16. a solid team, but yeah. but not, yeah. I mean, number sixty right now, but but obviously that the Duke name is carrying sixteen for sure. Yeah. I mean, if 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 it was if it was. If it was St. John's or some, you know, exactly. like you know, middle tier school, then it, they wouldn't yeah. be top twenty five. So, yeah. um, but anyway, so uh, now speaking of too, though, uh, I know, we, and, and by the way, too, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, I forgot that you know, making couldn't join us, but I'm sure he would love to add his uh, tunes in here. But I do got to ask another question though, because speaking of uh, ranking shockers, was anybody else shocked by women's basketball being number eleven? I was. Was anybody else shocked by that? I was. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we were, I, I thought we were going to go down. I thought we'd be like 13, yeah. 14, 15. Yeah. I mean, I thought we'd be like 15th. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. No. No. Well, and especially I think, too, I mean, just. Yeah, but just like what you just said about Duke, mm -hmm. I feel like That's exactly our what I was name, say. yeah, our name That's is carrying too. on. It's starting Which, to get I mean, a little bit of respect. I'm glad. Like yeah. uh, we haven't had that before. <laughs> We're usually kicked right out if we lose yeah. a game. So yeah, I no, that was it. that was the yeah. point I was going to make exactly right. Yeah. So. Well, especially too, you know, I mean, obviously, because. Diamond Johnson played against Boston College. She did. Correct. That was her first game back. True. So, but because that would be kind of a, a thought, I would think as well. Okay, like if Diamond Johnson didn't play, we lost to Boston College. Then, then the rankings would say, well, you know, they didn't, you know, have their starting point guard. You know, so okay, like we'll give them a little bit of a break. But, but we know, had lost so to Duke the previous week, right? And they were unranked. Right. We we had two. Was it back? I think it was back to back. We, back we to have back. a yeah. It was back to back. Yeah. Um, two back to back losses. Now, albeit so, ACC losses, but they were on your home court. So, like, right. if anything, that would have been like the okay, you're going to the right, not to the left. Um, right. But yeah. No, I'll again, it. It, it, it it's funny, you know. I I uh, before the wrestling match against uh, uh, Binghamton, I actually talked with uh, Mary Rawls, who again, I mean, is big time women's basketball supporter, and I mean, she shared the same dumbfoundness I had, which is like, what's going on? Like, you know, what, what is this? And, and honestly, and I kind of said this and I want to kind of get y'all's thoughts and, and, and let me, let us know in the comments too, what y'all think too. I think we really miss Raina Perez. I think we really miss Raina Perez and, and I'll explain why I think that Raina Perez was always that, that rock that like at the end of the day, you know, for, for 99% of the time you could trust Raina Perez to be effective in one way or another, she she would always be one usually yeah. to make big shots to keep us in. She yeah. would all, or if she wasn't even making shots, she at least was somebody that could distribute the ball very well and also to be a rock on the back. defensive side as well. She always usually be the one that you yeah. could lean on. Yeah. Um, and I just I just feel like intensity wise that we're just not there. We you know, we just kind of we weren't can't there. Rebound, well, like yeah, that's that that's the yeah. most frustrating thing. Like if we were if we could rebound, it would be a completely different team. But yeah. we just we can't seem to get. I think we miss Kunane more than anything, obviously. But <laughs> sure, I, I, honestly, yeah. I I I see where you're going, Leighton, with the Reina Perez um, point. I would say yeah. we're missing depth at point guard, right? So, mm -hmm. um, because I if you that, remember, yeah. if Reina was out, then you had Diamond, right? But when Diamond was sure. out, we didn't have we didn't have that Diamond on the back on the back side of the of the uh, of the bench, yeah. Um, now we've got capable players. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, we no, just it, don't have that level, um, you know, yet. Um, well, at least and, and I thought Sanaya, wise. Yeah, and I think Sanaya has done a good job at point. Um, she's not a point guard. Um, she can play point. Um, yeah. She's. I think she's much better in the two. Um, well, and Isaiah James has had some really good games, she's but she's moments. also had some struggles as well. Yeah. And just and, and she's yeah. a sophomore. I mean, she's still learning. Yeah, she's young. You know, mm -hmm. she's still growing. Um, mm -hmm. And and then Jessica Timmons, she's played great, or I would say really good, um, yeah. albeit again in limited limited action for whatever that is. Um, mm -hmm. And look, I would never ever question our rotation. Um, no. Like Coach Moore has done so much for this program. Um, it does sometimes, you know. I, I'll be like, okay, well, why is this? Why is that? But I mean, right. I'm just a casual fan seeing stuff. Uh, but look, there's still. We're barely tip. I think we're maybe a third into the ACC schedule. So a lot of basketball Look, left. We're going to get real quick into the teeth of this schedule. Like, I mean, this week. I mean, we have Florida State, which, um, you know, they're okay. They're they're, they're nothing really. Uh, Sunday we travel to, um, no, Crapple Hill. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I will be I'm there. Sorry, I haven't heard that one. Before. You've never heard that one before, Crapple Hill. Crapple no. Hill. Oh, that's a basic one. Yeah, I, I call that's it not even. Hill. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> chapel hole. Um, there's a bunch. Uh, yeah. but uh, that's funny. Yeah, so I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna look as classly classless as possible. Um, I don't know. I may even like. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a lot obnoxious. But, as you um, should. Oh, I'm looking. I'm, I'm to gonna. It. I'm gonna give you my obnoxious for that. Yes, <laughs> I will that. wear that badge. <laughs> I um, got you, Greg. It will be. I we we will be <laughs> so loud in there. Um, and yeah. I'm hoping. I don't know what what TV it's going to be on, but I promise you, you're going to hear me. Um, <laughs> I expect to, if I don't, I, I'm going to be really disappointed. Look, if any was yeah. anyone, oh, so it's a twofold thing for me. You know, it's, it's, it's Carolina, right? Like, so and there's already that, a natural hatred. And then, right. 
and then that wonderful coach of theirs can't shut her mouth long enough to say not say something stupid. So that just ticks me even more. So you know what? Yeah. It's you wrote on. your check. Now we're going to cash it for you. So <laughs> true. On. Yep. Well, and, challenge and, accepted. Yeah. Well, and, and, uh, and one thing too, which I want to point out, looking back at the Boston College game, first of all, Jakia Brown Turner only shot the ball Not three good. times. Not good. And didn't make any of them, but nope. d- only shot three times. Yep. To me, that's an issue. Just because she's an all ACC fact. player. You, you got to be more. You got to be more in the game. You got to find. Yeah. You got to find. Get get her the ball somehow, some way. Um, well, Go it's ahead. not even that it's not even that so much. Like she's a playmaker. Like she can make her own shot and create her own shot. She just right. She just wasn't aggressive for whatever reason. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah. know, I got nothing. But I mean, she played for 22 minutes, you know, so she should have shot the ball more than three. I don't times. think she was in foul trouble either. I think she only had like three fouls in the game. She had four fouls later. Four in the fouls, game, okay. But yeah. but still. Um, um but also too, uh, I mean, between Camille Hobby, Mimi Collins, and River Baldwin are three main big women. Uh we had 13 points. Big women. Just say bigs. Can't say well, big. big. Well, yeah, women are sensitive about their right. height and weight. Well, well, you know, again, it's in, in, in men's basketball is big men. So I mean, you know, just again. So that was yeah. Any credit? Okay, whatever. Our just bigs for women's lady. basketball. We had thirteen points and a combined uh, eight rebounds between yep. our three yep. this main is not bigs. Get done. Which is which is just not which is not yeah that's just not going to get it done simple as no, that you know no. you got to be able to take care of the ball and and get to the ball you know box out find a way to get the ball uh, and because even Logan talks about how you know the four position has been so different having multiple girls uh, this yeah. year instead of relying on the one whether it was Kunane or if you subbed in Camille Hobby uh, <laughs> uh, yeah no you're good I uh, so so to me I feel like that the benefit of that should be since you have multiple bigs out there that you should be able to get more of the rebounds. Mm -hmm. So, but that's not, that's not happening right now. So, yeah, yeah. it's, we're going to get this figured out. I mean, I I have no doubt. I trust. I have full. Oh, you're going to. Yeah. Well, and let's talk about the difference. Michelle kind of mentioned earlier about, you know, do we, does she think because of the way the point differential was how we finished that game is why we stayed at 11. And I think there is definitely some truth to that. Um, Mm -hmm. um, A decent Virginia team They're again, they're an upcoming team. Um, They were very bad last year, but they've made a lot of improvements. Uh, Look, we can't talk enough about Madison Hayes and the job that she did. Um, I got seven blocks, um, one off the all time school mark. Um, Mm -hmm. And by the way, she did all seven of those in the first half. Mm -hmm. Um, She was, she was all over the place. Um, Mm -hmm. Much better. We came out with a lot more intensity, um, did a much better job of distributing, um, playing defense. Um, So maybe that's just the right step in the direction. And here's the other thing. We've probably only played five, maybe six games with our full complement of players. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cause you gotta remember Mimi was out for a couple of games um jada was uh, out jada's been out diamond's been out um Mm -hmm. so so there's been a lot of mixing and matching maybe you know pairs that maybe wouldn't play together but they've been having to play together due to injury um let's see what they do in the next two weeks like i said we're gonna get in the teeth of the schedule real quick we got carolina we got virginia tech we got notre dame we got louisville all still on the schedule coming up in the next couple of weeks so we're gonna really find out about this team here at that at that juncture of the season well, and especially too, I mean, looking at the USA Today top 25, so they have Notre Dame at seven, yep. State at 12, Virginia Tech at 13, Duke at 19, and UNC yep. at 22. Yep. So, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy to think about. But again, even with the struggle against Boston College, the struggle against Duke, I mean, we're per the polls, second in the ACC right now. Yeah. And here's the, the polls, one thing that you, you know. the one team that you didn't hear in that, and I just said we we're getting ready to play them is Louisville. They were top season three. Yeah. Like, remember. Remember freaking uh, uh, Debbie Antonelli went out and saying, you know, Louisville's mm-hmm. the 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 mm-hmm. the definition of consistency. And uh, yep. again, it's just been a no, weird the, the, year. It has been. It has been. And it's been a weird year. Again, look, it's January. We still have a month and a half before it really gets like where yeah. it really matters. Yeah. 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 No, exactly. So, again, we're going to be OK, people. Yeah. We're going to be <laughs> Relax. OK. Relax. Yes. No. It's just hey, uncharted hey, waters, right? Like we've been yeah. so spoiled the last three to four years. Right? That's like, what I was saying. Like we've just we're not used to to losing it all and right i love hearing that <laughs> newsflash we're human <laughs> like yeah. it's gonna it's exactly. gonna happen yeah well and again i mean i mean think about louisville women's basketball fans going we're not even ranked right now 
what the yeah. heck? Like, you know, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, like we're Louisville. Like, come on. And that's so, one thing uh, they had to hang yeah. their hat on because that men's team is putrid. In fact, I would say the women could probably beat the men's team. I mean, Ooh. I think it would be a heck of a game. So let's put it that <laughs> a way. A heck of a game. <laughs> it would be a heck of a game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no. And because Louisville returned a couple of pretty big pieces, too. So, I yeah. mean, it's not like they lost. I, I would definitely say we lost more than, than oh, they for did. Sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, I mean, uh, it, but again, at the end of the day, I think that it's a great thing that – right now for basketball nc state basketball fans this is a great time for nc state basketball fans you got men's basketball looking pretty darn good right now looking very positive heading into a huge game at home which by the way too i gotta say this very clearly all right duke game i remember when it was like you had to stand like this in order to be able to stand your seat and watch the duke game and I mean, and I'm saying this, you know, completely honestly saying, obviously, yes, I wasn't there at the game, but just, you know, again, I'm, 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 you know, over 45 minutes away and just, it just, just couldn't do it. But I mean, you know, I'm going to be there though for this Miami game. And so what I am saying is that at the end of the day, we can't control what happened with the Duke game, but what we can control is that on Saturday afternoon, it's, it's not even game. a night game. It's, it's a literally game. a noon game on Saturday, like. There is no reason. All two classes are like classes are back, so yep, students are back. back. Yep. All students need to be there. Need to be, be there loud. early. Need to be loud, and all fans too. We need to pack that baby out. It is a I revenge game. We, we, yep, we blew, we it. We blew they, it the first time, but we're gonna get it this time. And Guaranteed. our guys have shown they deserve the re- a the support. house. Yep. Like, yeah, everybody, I mean, everybody's been it. everybody's been begging. Give us something to cheer for. Well, there you this, go. This is it. We're on a like they are. Hand it to us, yeah. so be there. Well, I mean, yeah. these guys have not experienced how crazy PNC Arena can get. Can no one what? on our team right now has, except Chase Graham. He's seen it. Yeah, yeah. But no, no one really on our team has experienced just how loud PNC crazy. Arena can get. So it, mm-hmm. here, here's something else. I, I don't know if anyone saw in this week's top twenty-five for men's. We got four votes. I did see that. Yeah, yeah. we got four votes. I mean, it's a start. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, more if you than we've t- got in the past three years. I mean, right? Combined, <laughs> combined, right? Uh, like all of them. And, and here's the thing, too. Look, we've we've lost three ACC games, but guess what? Those are the three top teams in the ACC right exactly. now, and that's what Pitt, people are understanding. And Miami are the three top teams, so it's not like we lost to the bottom tier. Now we thought when we lost to Pitt that there were going to be a bottom tier ACC team, and and it still well, may happen. Not. Like they may shuffle sure. down eventually, but but right now they're but one they're of the really surprise stories. Yeah, they're yeah. one of the surprise. And Clemson again, another surprise team. And it mm-hmm. seems like, um, was it Bidwell Baldwell? What's his name? Coach for Clemson. For, oh Clemson. yeah. Yeah, he's been there forever. Yeah, but every time uh, it seems like he's yeah. about ready to get fired, he pulls off one of these type of seasons. I know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, mm. it, like, look, we got some. We got it. We got a squad. Just come out and support these guys. They 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 deserve it. Um, mm-hmm. I, well, I think they've earned it. All right, yeah, not deserved it. They've earned, earned it. it. I mean, uh, they've been reading what everybody says. Like, give us something to be hype about. Yeah. And they're like, here, yeah. like, we can't do. Like, we can't keep doing it. And without yeah. y'all here, so. yeah, like, sure. and because keep in mind, y'all, like at the end of the day, I think that anybody who has doubted Keats, and and I mean, and and, and rightfully so. I mean, again, over his last couple he's of years, things. Sure, I mean, he's done some things which have has have warranted it's some treacherous. some doubts. But at the end of the day, keep in mind that it is a hundred like everybody within the state needs to agree that it is the benefit for us and for NC State if Keats is successful. We don't want to have to start all over again. We don't want to have to fire him and have to find somebody else and we don't want to have possibly to lose start from square money. one. <laughs> no, because again, we, we like we've talked about in multiple live streams. We talked about last last week as well. Like this is the time if you're going to take control or if you're going to move up into the elite part of the ACC. Mm-hmm. This is the time to do it. And like, and, and this we got the triangle area, not it's even necessarily. Triangle. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like I mean, Carolina- it's. A, it's- it's not one of those like automatic who's going to be it. Like it's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. And mm-hmm. that's why I'm excited for February 19th. Look, right that's going to be a crazy PNC. Right now we're one slot behind uh, Carolina in the net. I think they're yeah. 27 and we're 28. Like, Eight. Mm-hmm. like right now everything is trending like positively for state. So let's keep that momentum going. Let's get people at PNC. Let's, you know, let's, you know, blow the roof off that place and, and let, mm-hmm. let these guys know that, Hey, we're behind them because I don't know if they really understand that. Like, like 
you, you like for every two or three good comments you see on on Twitter, you see three or four that are negative. It's like, come on, man, let's get rid of that junk. Like, like they haven't we, experienced in there. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. they go to football games and see it's sold out every game, and I know that they're like, well, dang. Yeah. Like they're giving us what we and need to be able to do it. Almost three times the amount of seats. Exactly. True. Yeah. <laughs> so like. Yeah. yeah. No. And again, too, I think, uh, you know, first of all, keep in mind that just, unlike the national championship, you can tailgate at, at, at our game. So, yeah, you know, just that's and, I, and, and I still laugh at that, too, by the way. I know so we're, you know, I'm taking take it. But I mean, that's like here. So dumb. Yeah. And then also, too, did you see as well that literally they were selling 10 times more Georgia merchandise, national championship merchandise, than they were TCU as well. So, again, for us being being, you know, the the you know, the guys are kind of looked at as afterthought behind UNC Duke. Hey, I feel for TCU 100 percent. I, I couldn't imagine, you know, yeah. being pissed off. But of course, you know, then you watch the game. And you're like, oh, that's why. Oh, there oh, okay. is. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Did cool. anyone anyway. else find that it was weird? It was raining inside the stadium. Yeah, that is an open air yeah. dome. <laughs> yeah, that is that was the weirdest thing. It's a but weird, I, yeah. you know, engineering, right? God, you know, where where can we find some engineers? You know, like right. we don't have any here in Raleigh. A right? Five so. trillion billion quazillion stadium, and they it's yeah. raining inside of it. So yeah, no, it was weird. Um, but yeah, no. So again, y'all, just please, 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 you know, if, if you don't have tickets already, just find a way. It's going to be a huge game. There's it's going to be There's it's tickets. going to be an amazing game. I, I truly do feel it's going to be a packed out PNC arena. But again, I, I don't want state fans to rely and say, oh, it's going to be packed. I don't need to be there. Like, no, like, no, don't rely on that whatsoever. Be there. Be and I'm there. saying that we got to say that nicely. Please be there. Yes. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I can't be mean. You. No, no, no. Again, we, still, the- we still love Wolfpack Nation. But again, we, we are saying that that there is zero reason why. It's not packed out. It can't be the time. It can't be the day. It can't be, oh, I got to work. Like, I mean, check the weather. Hold on. I, I want to make sure that there's no, no access. It's not God. raining. Yeah. We've had, yeah. We sell out yeah. noon football games yeah. right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. In, case you, in case you forgot where it's located, yeah. it's right, right across, across the, street the street from Carter Finley. <laughs> so I just go to Carter Finley tailgate and then walk uh, over to that other place. So true. I gotcha. Jack and Thomas Outdoor said, I need a ride. That's my problem. Hey, man. So I where are you at? Her. We'll come yeah, pick where you are up. you at? I mean, DM us, man. Like, we'll, we'll we'll help anybody, you know, to find a way to get you there. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to, like, pay for everybody's tickets and rides or whatever. I'm just saying, hey, we'll talk it through because then, day again, Greg's it is that important. With a freaking trailer on the back of his truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, 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 hey, I love it. A hey, U-Haul. We're, we're heads we're to the real. game, y'all. We're coming yeah. in. Fr- hey, 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 look, let, let, all right, I'm going to give you the perfect pitch why you need to come to this game, all right? Good, good. I am getting on the road at 6 30 in the morning to drive to Raleigh. Wow. Wow. That's What's right. your excuse. King. Yeah. That's that's a that's a heck of one. And by the way, too, Greg, we still haven't calculated the full we need to do a map still of your football routes. From, yeah, from I think it was just under nine thousand miles. I think it was like eighty seven or eighty eight hundred miles. I, I um actually I have it here on my phone. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Um, go yeah. ahead and keep talking, but yeah. Uh, Jack says New Bern. I mean, you know, I mean. <laughs> Greg's face. Ah, Jack, you got me. Yeah, you got me. That, that is a little bit, yes. Uh, you know, but. Hitchhike. Hey, I mean, you know, Jack, I mean, you know, if there's anything we can do to help, man, just let us know. But yeah, <laughs> Anything I mean, else. Yeah, anything else that we can do, let us know. Um, so with that being said, uh, we'll finish first. And lastly, last thing I want to do as well is I want to pitch as well to remind Wolfpack Nation as well that besides the main guys, obviously we've got baseball coming up here, which I know everybody's excited started. about. They just started uh, uh, training. Training, right, exactly. Uh, yep. uh, so, And everybody's excited, but obviously, you know, the new faces of Carter Trice, getting Sam Highfield back, uh, Lou James Groover should be a great team, and there's no doubt that we're excited about we'll them. We'll definitely be talking about that soon. We'll definitely be talking about them. We'll definitely be doing a preview of them here soon, uh, br- probably bring it back on Rod Chimrog, make that happen. Uh, but the one thing which I want to say as well and remind everybody is keep in mind that – there are we are lucky as NC State fans, and we're lucky at NC State to have multiple teams besides the main four that are competing not only in the ACC but competing nationally. nationally. Obviously, you have you have softball coming up here, which again to to remind you, two years ago we had a top five recruiting class, and so we're going to start to see where the fruit of that labor here this season. Yep. Softball is going to absolutely crush this season. So make sure to go check them out again. Tickets are crazy cheap. Mm-hmm. You could buy season tickets for like, like, like maybe a hundred, 200 yeah. bucks. Yeah, it's like really something cheap. like that. It's probably and less keep- than that because men's baseball is, 
is one ninety nine, but they add the extra hundred dollars on, so I it has yeah. to be less than a hundred dollars. So probably even less than that. And, and, yeah. and again, keep in mind too that like if you need another pitch, you know, if you're not a first of all, if you're not a part of the Wolfpack Club already, make sure to do that. Again, it's super cheap to be a part of it. And Ben Broussard is not going to turn away any money that you want to give. But also too, again, all this goes towards uh, Wolfpack Club uh, points as well. So, I mean, keep that in mind, you know, it it, it all goes towards points. Uh, But, you know, obviously we talk about softball, but like wrestling, like right now, like, dude, we are about to get into the heart of the ACC uh, 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 schedule here, which is going to start off super tough next weekend at Virginia Tech. It's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. So, but this weekend, Friday night, Friday night, we're going against Army. So make sure if you can be there again, like you can have literally a NC State schedule this weekend. You can go to wrestling on friday night you have men's basketball 12 gymnastics is hosting michigan state in reynolds at four and then sunday you got uh you uh nc state women's basketball hill yeah at at chapel hill so you can have a heck of nc state weekend yeah exactly so so i mean i guess all i'm 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 pitching out there is again keep in mind support all these teams like i'm telling you like they like they deserve it they have earned it and they're not being talked about enough. And that's why, again, that, that's one of the main reasons we started Tuffy Talk was to shed some light again. We, we went and covered NC State uh, at UNC in gymnastics last night. And, uh, I mean, again, you know, just really trying that's to tough, That's a heartbreaker. Well, and, and then the one thing which I'll, I'll say about it is, uh, so UNC competed last week uh, in an invitational in Vegas. Uh, and also, on top of that, UNC actually just came off of one of their best years ever. They actually went undefeated last year in the regular season in gymnastics and uh, returned most of their people here this year. So, obviously, your first your season opener at UNC, not in front of your home people against, you know, a team that's already had one opportunity to, you know, kind of get, you know, the rust off earlier yeah. you know, a week ago. You know, I mean, but again, keep in mind that even that score that we had is broke the program record for the highest score in – in their yeah. first uh, meet, so yeah, it's yeah. bittersweet for sure. He he hate to uh, lose to them to lose to you know the Chiefs for sure. But again, there's going to be more opportunities there for sure. And the other thing which I want to point out as well is there's actually even rumors because right now in gymnastics, it's one of the few uh, uh, varsity sports that we have that we're actually not competing in ACC. We're competing in EAGL, which includes like New Hampshire. That's uh, weird. I didn't even yeah, know that. That's they, good. That's yeah, that would be a good yeah. trivia question. Yeah, we're actually at nine ACC. It's a EAGL. Uh, and it's a bunch of different the schools, Eagle including League. UNC, uh, and I think Pitt even as well. But anyway, uh, so but there's rumblings that the ACC is actually expanding in gymnastics, and there's actually going to be an ACC conference. There'll be gymnastics. enough. There'll be enough teams then to qualify. So for, uh, definitely, uh, yeah, in expanding to AC, which will make a hundred a lot of sense. So again, can't say enough. Support these teams, y'all. We are lucky. We are so lucky. So take advantage of it. Super cheap to support these these uh these these men and women. Yeah. And there's a huge benefit from your side in terms of even for the Wolfpack Club points as well. So, uh, two, two thoughts. Go real ahead. Quick. Go One, ahead. This will be the first time ever I ever root against America when, <laughs> when NC State wrestling plays yeah. Army or wrestles Army. So yeah, like on Friday. Every other day I'm pro America, but. You're going down, Uncle Sam, on Friday night. <laughs> um, yeah. And number two, uh, Rusty, to answer your question, um, hopefully we'll be back at Doak on for the first series. Um, mm-hmm. I was talking to Justin Cook today, and there are some delays in getting things done, but it's supposed to be done 10 February, which is seven days before opening day. Um, so yeah. um, we're hoping. Now, I'm there are – there are thinking con- new. Yeah. When we go <laughs> Yeah, that that's for phase one. Remember, this is going to be a three year approach to get everything done at Doke. But the right. first, the first, the first set of things will should be done this um, um, before season opener. Um, but they are making contingencies potentially uh, playing over in um, Holly Springs uh, and or um, at the Carolina Mudcat Stadium. Uh, that's the, hmm. the, the two of the potential uh, what we call COAs, course of actions. So Interesting. We'll see what happens there. Fingers Very crossed, though. It, it all depends on the weather. Like if you guys start getting crappy weather down there and they can't do work, then obviously right. that's going to push things to the right. But yeah. uh, fingers <laughs> crossed they get it done. Yeah, we'll see. Again, fingers crossed for sure. But the one thing which I will say, though, is, man, that scoreboard is amazing. It looked nice. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. If you I'm guys so don't excited. follow Justin Cook on either Twitter or Facebook, man, if you're into Pac-9, um, that's your dude, man. He He's all up in there. Uh, he, he's been dropping pictures, and um, yeah. he's he's, he's really, really well connected. So, um, yeah. No, I, I I would say I don't know if I've ever man. I mean, he's in terms of like the biggest NC State supporters of one sport. 
I don't oh, know yeah. if there's really any that could beat Justin Cook in baseball. Ooh, man. Oh, I mean, not for baseball, but yeah. I would say I would honestly say Chuck would probably give him a run for wrestling. Chuck and wrestling, that is oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. I would give that too. Yeah. yeah. That, but I mean, dude, this guy literally just he, goes to the dope, it, stands outside it. of of them, and just <laughs> takes pictures of of practice of the yep. renovations. Like this guy's nice level. It's good stuff. Like, he's, he's I love awesome. it. He keeps me he keeps me in the loop, so I, right. I appreciate yeah. him. So no, absolutely. Anyway, so with jump. that being said, y'all, we're gonna jump on over finally to some tweets of the week. Uh so with that being said, once I find the prep one, here we go, y'all. All right. So our <laughs> first tweet of the week. Gotta give a shout out to Sidelines NC State, which by the way, too, I love the new uh uh logo. I I I'm yeah, I don't know if it's changed uh you know owners or runners, whatever it may be, but first of all, we've got to give a shout out to logo. All uh, right, but the question being for those who are too, who are listening in is the question is what would you give for state to win a national championship? And <laughs> yeah, and Greg <laughs> says I would break my other leg. Uh no, uh well, and obviously I, I'm sure that he's talking about football but i mean i would leave this yeah. open to anything well anything. i would leave it open to, to any of the main the revenue sports four. yeah well yeah the main four women's yeah. basketball men's but you can throw in yeah. you can throw in you can throw baseball. in wrestling and baseball or softball and then granted we've already won yeah. the national championship in, in cross country so we won't we'll take right. that off the table but uh yeah yeah, I mean, uh, well, first of all, Logan Tate just throws it all out there and says, my <laughs> left lung. Man, <laughs> dude, that is, uh, whoo, man. Now, I Rusty says exactly my thought right there, yep. which is that yep. he wants it so bad for Elliot. I think if he, could, like, again, national championship, sure, that'd be amazing. But Is that the sport we would all say we would probably, I mean, like, from an in, from a from a pure NC State, like, fan, right? Like, if you are entrenched or plugged into all the sports i would say okay actually no let me change this which coach would you want to get a national championship for how about we take it that way yeah of course elliot. i think it's gotta be elliot right like it's there's no i don't think there's it's not even not even a question no. now if you're a fan what sport and what would you give see I, yeah. i'll take that even a couple more levels yeah i would be homeless uh, for the rest of my life yeah first state to win a national championship Fine. I, got a, <laughs> I, I got a backyard. Like, I can't say my life them. because then everybody be like, "Whoa, like you're going too far." But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I right, would lay yeah. in the street. I would lay on I forty if we wanted that to give you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Logan, Logan and Michelle both say Elliot. And then the old yeah, dog shows sure. my arm. Don't care unless it's men's basketball or football. Maybe baseball. Uh, and everybody says football. I mean, again, the problem with football is got to get through. It's 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 there are giants in football uh, for sure. There are yeah. giants in football, no doubt. Yeah. And also too, there's there's bias too. I mean, for sure, you know, yep. of a sort. Be, uh, you got yep. you to be in the right position. I mean, look at TCU last night. I mean, dude. But because like everybody's saying, everybody's saying they don't belong. But then they hey, they beat Michigan. I mean, keep that in mind too. They beat yeah. Michigan. And, and, but, and this isn't a TCU show, but I will say no. this real quick. Like they play in the Big Twelve, which is by far the weakest next oh, yeah. to the Pac-12 of, of the Power Five conferences. Um, yeah. They got Oklahoma in yeah. a down year. Texas is not what it is. Their yeah. next best team was like Oklahoma State or Baylor, and they're not they're not upper, upper echelon teams by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah. like, yes, did they earn their way? Yes, they did. But, yeah. it, look, they got Michigan on a very bad day because Michigan is, is clear clear better team. Um, yeah. You know, when you throw when you throw two, I picks thought Michigan sixes, was going to win it all. Yeah. Well, you yeah when you throw two pick too. sixes, you 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 right. you're already putting yourself behind the eight ball. So yeah. And then Ohio uh, State brings in a Carolina kicker, so they were already doomed yeah. to begin. With. They knew they were done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. And then, but Nicholas brings up a good point talking about basketball since we can have that bragging right to UNC Duke. And yeah, since Absolutely. UNC and Duke's blood is in men's basketball, yeah. That would be pretty big, but I also I say too. Like that's basketball one of the toughest would be the ones biggest, too. Would be the biggest be for fans. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. we have like the most tradition there, right? With yeah. the national championships, so that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, it would bring back the most like nostalgia for mm -hmm. like all yeah. every fan. Yeah, yeah, agreed. But you'll but see I'm it this year. But <laughs> ideally, <laughs> like I think I think baseball is right there for for an ACC championship at the very least. Uh, I think. I mean, we, I mean, we played for the last two years. We've been in the you know yeah. in, in the championship game the last two years, so we're we're yeah. knocking on that door. We are for sure. Um, but also too, I mean, like you know, obviously there's there's rumblings of you know Dorn, you know when you know he's he's always said you know he's talked about retiring fifty five and he's fifty one right now, uh, and he came in from the get go saying one pack one goal. So I mean, 
and, and me being a former football equipment manager, like an ACC championship in football for me would be like, I mean, it would be in indescribable uh but i mean but i mean especially but again i could say that with baseball too i mean especially if we would have beaten unc in the championship too that would have been amazing so it's it's uh yeah for me i just want to go to a championship game right yeah exactly like i was like happen we were on the coastal side we would go every year (sighs) true well not worry about that anymore true i mean (laughs) other than the two like i said and i misspoke just then go not the last two years the last two acc tournaments in baseball we've gone to because remember yeah. the one year it was yeah. canceled um right but uh yeah i just want to go to a i just want to go to a national championship game where where we've got skin in the game and i'll if, it, if it's in anchorage alaska i will be there come come mm-hmm. heck or high water so i just yeah. i want to i want to be there i want to experience it um one of my buddies debt, i don't care I'll be yeah there. i'll figure it out yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll sell a kidney or something i don't know yeah <laughs> on the black market <laughs> <laughs> now uh logan says i will forever be haunted by carolina fans saying six no matter what state does in basketball uh yeah you know, whatever again, i mean whatever yeah just you know leave it at that but we, yeah, went, no, we went to six more classes so whatever yeah <laughs> there you go i love it um but uh, nicholas uh says yes i mean yeah baseball we would have won it all in 2001 had we not been screwed yes we would have won it yeah there's no doubt about it we would have won it uh mississippi state fans have said it we would have won it that year there's no doubt about it I'm so uh that. yeah no for sure um so but again uh moving on here uh, to our next tweet of the week gotta give a shout here to a uh, pg moser yep. who's who says here state moves up to 28 in the in the net uh, in the net rankings and uh 33 in the Ken Palm after last night's win what a massive week was staring one and five in league play in the face i'd now argue a win against miami would propel the pack into the t- top 25 he doesn't even need to argue it we will You'll we'd be in the to. talks like, for sure. No, we would be. We would be. That yeah. would be two, two, two out of the three last games against winning against a, a ranked opponent in the top fifteen, top, top sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. No, yeah. we definitely will be. You know, I mean, granted, you're right. Like some things would have to still fall your way. Like if every Correct. one of the top twenty five wins, obviously there's no change. But I mean, I don't yeah. know if that's ever happened. So, yeah. Um, it, yeah. it, it, let's put it this way you're squarely right there on the bubble of top 25 yeah, which i yeah. mean we haven't we haven't even sniffed the thought of a top 25 in we'll a have way time, more so we'll than four it. votes if we want oh yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that's no, put we'll, it that way we'll yeah. fully eclipse that there's no no yeah, doubt. We'll definitely we will move up in the polls if we win how about that yeah. yes so. that is guaranteed so <laughs> yes. we, we, we will get more than four votes yeah, absolutely. Uh, so now another one too here from Joe Gillio, who says in the next regular season ACC game, after a win over Duke Carolina. So, uh, so just to basically remind again. So basically, in any in the next regular season ACC game, after we had beaten either Duke or Carolina, underneath uh, uh, Les Herb Sid or MFG, uh, we were combined two of twenty. Keats is now four and one. Which go Real ahead. Quick. MFG, Mike, I'm sorry, Mark, Mark, Mark freaking Godfrey. Godfrey. Mark freaking Godfrey. <laughs> I know it's yes. Franklin. This is F is his real middle name, but yeah, Mark freaking, freaking is, Godfrey. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but so, so again, so all four of those coaches, so Les, Herb, Sid, and, and, and Godfrey were combined two and 20. Keats is now four and one in ACC games after beating either Duke or Carolina. Yeah. So to, to me, That's, I feel like, Go ahead, Greg. That's, I mean, that's cute. It's a cherry pick stat. Um, you know, so? like, yeah, I do. I, I don't buy a lot into that. Now, if you told me he was four and one all time against Duke and Carolina, that's a better stat. Um, you well, know what I mean, here's my thing. I, I would say it's kind of like Keats when his first in his first season you know yeah. when he talked about duke and carolina yeah. he didn't talk about duke like being duke carolina like oh that would be the biggest thing if we beat yeah. duke and carolina like yeah. to like to him it was like hey we beat a good team that's awesome on to the next yeah. which i i kind of like that again i mean i don't no, want sure. like you know like like for us it's it's like for us as fans it's huge but i, I don't necessarily want my coach to think like oh man this super bowl y'all if we beat duke then 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 yeah. Who cares what happens the rest yeah. of the season? We've been yeah. Duke and Carolina. Like no, no I, like, and I know, get where he's going. Like yeah. this, there's no emotional letdown. That's the point of this. Exactly. Stat. Like there's no there's no letdown after beating your quote unquote rival or one of yeah. your you know bitter opponents. Um, yeah. But again, like again, I would like to dissect this more. Like who who are the five teams we played after those games? Like are we playing 
good ACC opponents or are we playing, you know what I mean? Um, right. Um, anyway, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice. It's nice. Sure. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything if you're not making the NCAA tournament and winning championships. True. So true. No, I, I hear you again. Hey, that's a glass half full stack, Greg. Okay. Hey, I'm on. glass half full most of the time, <laughs> probably no, more than you. most of the time. Oh, for sure. No, you definitely are. Uh, so also too, you got to give a shout out to one of our pack pros, Darian Sebron getting his first NBA points on a put back uh, a shot from his own shot, by the way. Uh, and also too gave the Pelicans a season high, 132 points as a team. So basically what this tweet is saying is that when Darian Sebron is playing that the They're Pelicans are just unstoppable. <laughs> that's basically what he's saying right here. I mean, that's at least that's my thoughts of it here. Again, completely unbiased here. Can we pause for saying. one second? Go ahead, Greg. Since since Keats has been at state, is this his first NBA player, or were were the Martin twins still here when he was here? No, they left. No, he'd left. And then Yurt Seven was Yurt Seven was here for one year. Yeah. So I guess you could maybe kind of kind of technically count him. I'm just yeah. trying to think of NBA players under Keats at state because there hasn't been many. Uh, yeah, no, I not think really. It's the first one. Yeah, yeah, it's the like, first one that's that's yeah, that's legitimately that's Keats. Yeah. 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 I mean, your seven was Keats kind of, but I mean the fact that I mean, you he know, inherited he, him. He inherited him and the fact that he left the year after right, Keats just right. showed this that. Is just, like, uh, you this is like you can argue this is the first player that he recruited at state that's state. made it to the NBA. And was yeah. and was at state for yeah, played Keats. at state. Yeah, yeah, because I know there's a few guys that like Lee Crowell and or and a couple of those that had committed but didn't never played a game. So right. Um, anyway, I just find that interesting, right? Like there's there's a step in the right direction. That was a guy from last year's team. Now, granted, it wasn't a great team, but you know, that, that's that, that's a check in the box that we hadn't had. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen to that. Amen. So moving on to our next tweet, obviously got to give a shout out to specifically here our man. The man, the myth, the legend, Thayer Thomas, uh, officially, you know, again, he didn't have any eligibility left anyway. But, you know, again, officially announcing he's moving on, uh, you know, to the NFL. It's like and, a breakup. Uh, yeah, I know. It, it's, it's not it's a tough. breakup. It's not a breakup. It's a it's, it's a we'll see you soon. Yeah, I no, it, well, that's what that's the that's the heart hurt that you feel. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. No, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and, and 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 you know, too, Greg, I do want to ask you because I, I basically put a tweet out to this basically saying that. If you're making an all-time yeah, NC State solid. football team <laughs> and Thayer Thomas isn't in the conversation, you're leaving him out. And I so want Mike, to click. Go ahead, so go ahead, here, go let, ahead. Me, let me say this yep. one thing, Greg. Let me yep, explain yep, why. Go for it, please. So first of all, because of the fact, first of all, again, he's second all-time in, in touchdowns, which is an amazing style behind the go, Torrey Holt. Uh, you know, receiving yards-wise as well, he's he's up there. Pretty much in every single wide receiver stat, he's up there, right there in, in top 10, at least, if not top five. And yeah. But also, too, as well, what he did from the punt return side. So I, that's another thing I would say as well, is that if you're not going to put him in a wide, a wide receiver, I would say specialist-wise, I mean, there's, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you got guys, some but... good sp- specialists there. No, um, no, I know. I'm just saying, I think he is 100% deserves to be in the conversation. That's all I'm saying. I think he deserves to be in the conversation. It's hard for me to say it's hard for me to, cause I love the dude. Like he, he, yeah. he epitomizes what state is, you know, like, you know, when you hear, when you hear Doran give the, you know, the hands in the dirt speech and, and all of that and, you know, blue collar, you know, community that's Thayer Thomas. I mean, he, he's the kind of guy that brings his lunch pail every day and comes to work and mm-hmm. uh, he does, you know, he, he just does, he does his thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, uh, you can definitely make the argument. He does more with less and that's no slight at his skill sets. Um, he, again, he he's earned everything that he's ever gotten. I personally have the hard time of making the argument that he's in the conversation for, unfortunately. Um, well, and let me talk, let me, let me kind of try yeah, sell me. I mean, if you sell me, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm always going to no. listen. Well, first of all, I mean, the thing I want to say is, I mean, I think slide receiver wise, I mean, again, Torrey Holt was your outside wide receiver. So, I mean, you no, know, he's not competing against Torrey Holt. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even to like a Jericho Cotri as well, you yep. know, I wouldn't necessarily know if you put him in the slot. I still put him more on the, I put him on the opposite side of Torrey. Yep. Uh, so, but to me, I feel like that when you look at Thayer's game, yep. I think he's really the mix of everything that you need in a wide receiver. He's, he's not the fastest guy, but he, but yeah. he's fast enough. 
he's I, not I, the biggest guy, but I mean, he's strong enough. I mean, he he can get yeah. through anybody. He's a great route runner. He catches everything. I mean, he's Mister Consistent. You don't really see him really ever ever in his career having issues with drops. Uh, yeah. You know, and I, again too. I mean, he's a great leader. So so to me, I feel like that. You know, there's really nothing about his game that I'm like I have an issue with. Really, yeah, and I don't either. Hype. I don't, yeah. e- I don't, e- yeah, yeah, I don't even, I mean, t- in today's age, you don't got to be six two, six four to be a good wide receiver, but Definitely I not. got guy. I got guys that, you know, I'm, a, I'm an older guy. So I got guys sure. like Mike quick. I got guys like Mario Peebles. Uh, I got uh Haywood Jeffries. I've got guys that like some of the legends of NC state back in the day. And, sure. um, and then of course, Torrey Holt. And then you've got, like you said, Katri, and then you have, um, you know, a Mecca, you've got Calvin, I mean, uh, you've got, you've got so many good ones. Um, so but for the me, fact that, but the fact that it, Thayer Thomas is, is, is cause the, most of those guys are predominantly outside guys. That's why I'm saying too, as well as that. He's, yeah. Like Thayer Thomas, I think is your perfect slot receiver. Yeah. I mean, you can slide, can you can work his way in the middle. Yeah. You can but, slide some again, of those we're, guys we're, in, inside, but here's yeah, the other thing too. Again, the, 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 the argument right, that I will make against Thayer is that he did have extra time because of COVID and 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 some stuff. Sure. Um, so yeah. his stats will be slightly elevated. Again, not to take anything away from him, he 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 did his thing. Um, but if we're making this argument, sure. um, I, I he's on, he's just on the outside looking in for me. I feel you. Hey, again, again, we're totally just like. Picking on eggshells here. I mean, you know? yeah, but, I mean, yeah, we're I mean, you know, he's, I mean, we're totally nitpicking here. It's so, like picking your favorite uh, kid, which I would tell you later off here who's yeah. my favorite kid, but we won't talk about that on air. <laughs> me. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah exactly. I feel like I've adopted now, you. <laughs> me. Yeah, no, right. Uh, now, uh, now Michelle brings up also to a big point about Tory Holt being, you know, yep. when is Hopefully he going to finally get into the Hopefully. NFL Hall of Fame? Hopefully, be. this is the year. There's, he's at a position. There's such a logjam of wide receivers, and he's just kind of in a numbers mm-hmm. game right now, and. Look, he's I – and mean, it's because they only take, like, I think a max of, like, eight or nine a year, right? And so you have all the positions, and there's so many, right? Like I said, the logjam at wide receiver. Um, mm-hmm. That's not to say that he shouldn't have already been in. Um, right. You know, he, in fact, you know, he he lost out to his uh, his buddy, um, his fellow wide receiver at the Rams. Um, I just drew a blank. Uh, yeah, uh, I know you're talking about. Uh, but anyway. anyway. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's just so many good. I think this year – uh, and look, I'm a Bucks fan, and I think Rondé Barber should be in the uh, NFL Same Hall too. of Fame. Yeah, you're a Bucks um, fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's a guy that's got. Hey, beat the Cowboys, and we'll for, and we'll forgive yeah. for you for everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Rondé, Rondé has has he's, and this is where this is what makes me mad about the Hall of Fame in general. One, it's 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 voted on by players, excuse me, writers that most of them have never played the game, and it's. Um, if they get a, if they get an, if you get an attitude with a writer, you're like blacklisted from them. And then what happens mm-hmm. is, is you have to be presented and then they vote on you. It's, it's a yeah. bunch of shenanigans. Um, he's right. going to get in, uh, there's no doubt about it, but Rondé, he was like, well, he revolutionized. He was, excuse me. He was only good because of the Tampa two. It's like, well, duh. Like he was <laughs> Tampa two. Like, right. He made don't it. Don't hate he him because it. yeah. Yeah. Don't hate him because he revolutionized a position that was never there. So, um, right. it, it's, it's all silly. Um, but Tori's got to get yeah. in and I'm hoping it's this year. Cause dang it. He deserves it. Yeah. He Amen to that. Amen to for that. playing for the Rams. And so. I hate the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. But they again, just beat the Cowboys that. and we'll forgive you for everything. <laughs> so, it. uh, but now I got to move on. So I think for me, one of the biggest news of this week, and that's news of Brennan Armstrong coming to the pack. Now I know Ken's you, you're immediately like, Hmm. Because I know, I know MJ's your boy Team for sure. MJ. Team MJ, <laughs> man, for sure. Uh, but again, like we said it last week, and I, I think everybody within NC State says, like, you're, you're crazy if you're Doran and you don't take Brennan if Brennan wants yeah. to come. And because the thing which I immediately say, and 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 I'll show and it's a proof of that we are fine. But at the end of the day, I say that. Obviously, at the end of the day, Doran can't necessarily be held for ransom of a sort, you know, by MJ being like, you know, if Brennan comes, I'm out of here. But also, too, we all know, we all have seen MJ's character. We know he's not that kind of guy. He's the ultimate team dude. He's the ultimate team dude. But also, too, we have said multiple times how many benefits there are by MJ, for MJ, exactly. not only for just for NC State, but for MJ, too, if Brennan does come. That the fact that, that he could get he could finally, 
well, he can have competition. He can he can actually finish a redshirt year. If he, he can develop. It. He can learn the new offense. If he needs uh, it. You know, because also, too, again, just keep in mind, again, I remind everybody once again, is that if there wasn't competition, then you're going into next season with all of this pressure on still a raw quarterback, basically being like, if we're good next year, it is going to have to be because of you. Like, it doesn't matter anybody else. If you're not good, we're not going to be good. Simple as that. So now he doesn't have to have that stress and burden, which I mean, could be great, but it could not be great too. Like, you know, it's a gamble, but bringing in Brian Armstrong, who is a fifth year uh, grad transfer, who's he's played under an eye before. He's, he's, yeah. He's, yeah, he's proven he can play in the ACC. We, yep. we still have a small sample size of them, Jay, although a very good sample size. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and again, literally before last season, Brennan was projected to be a uh, first or second round draft pick. So, but either way, like about, I think it was a top, I, I know it, there was a lot of projection that had him as a top five quarterback prospect mm-hmm. heading into uh, next year's Last NFL year. draft. Yep. So, I mean, basically to say that under an eye, he was playing elite. Now, I mean, I know everybody says, well, Brennan sucked, you know, with Virginia this year. Well, no, obviously oranges. going from a eye to, you know, desk kitchens, which again, my heart, I love desk kitchens, desk kitchens, my boy. But we also saw what he did in 2019. Like, maybe he's just not meant to be an offensive coordinator. Again, I love Kitchings. He's a great running backs coach. I would argue one of the all-time greats, but maybe he's not been meant to be an offensive coordinator. So, again, we will see. But at the end of the day, I mean, I think to me, this was great news. I think it was a win because for us at, with NC State, I feel great about it now. And now, you know, you know, wide receivers-wise, you know, this takes a huge step up for sure. I mean, so – well, go ahead, the Mike, thing Greg. Yeah, yeah, the other thing I would say about Brendan Armstrong, he gives you an extra on-field coach, to your point earlier. He knows a nice exactly. system. Teaches he can help offense. MJ. He can help Ben Finley in that quarterback's room get mm-hmm. better and learn the offense that much quicker. Because here's the thing. This is a team that's going to only have spring ball and fall camp to learn a nice system. I don't know how difficult it is. I, 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 I've watched film. He makes – Good. I mean, he makes players really good. Like he plays to the player's strengths, but you're talking about having to get up to speed to learn the system. Now, if your quarterback already knows the system, that's a big deal because obviously he's the one that's getting the ball to everybody. He's going to be able to know like where to, where to go with his reads, um, Mm -hmm. whether to, where to audible to, like, he's going to know all of that. Um, but nothing to say like Logan, I like your hot take. Like I, hey. I, I see a place where MJ can do this, right? Sure. Um, Shock the world. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing that we, we've talked about before, but we, we haven't really talked about MJ came in the fall. He wasn't an early enrollee. So to see what mm-hmm. he did in the limited amount of time and the limited amount of reps was very impressive. So sure. he's got a good IQ. So Sure. That hot take is not as hot as maybe people might think. So let's go. Well, because the big thing too is that I mean, again, at least now you're not going basically from now until you yeah. know, you know, September first, being like yeah. MJ, you are the guy. The pressure you is on you, brother. You need to learn this. Like you have to do it. Like there, like now that he doesn't have to have that because then day you just got a guy, Brian Armstrong, that you know can produce. Uh, yeah. but because everybody's you know says to uh, take two Logan. Logan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, uh, Logan Tate saying something else to consider. MJ already has better connections with the guys. That's true, too. So, again, it, it's, you know, TBD. But, Kins, I want to hear your thoughts. Go ahead. <laughs> Dang. Go for it. Um, MJ, Come on. MJ, MJ, I mean, MJ. I'm I just gave you MJ. thoughts. I mean, just from watching him play, yeah. I mean, I'm always going to be the team. That I mean, I'm always going to be team MJ. But yeah. uh, I do think that that is only going to help him perform better. I mm-hmm. think that – I mean, we saw what all that pressure did to Devin Leary this past season. So, I feel mm-hmm. like not having all that pressure on MJ, like, I mean, we don't yeah. – remember, he's a freshman. So, yeah. I mean – He's raw quarterback. Him come, yeah, him coming in. I mean, he's going to have somebody to lean on. Based, not lean on, but sure, we yeah. have right there in his uh, – well, To run things by, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and help him become a better quarterback. I think mm-hmm. it's just – People on Twitter are like making it seem like it's either like they're battling each other, either right? one or the yeah, other. I don't, I don't see that. They're helping, they're helping each other. No, I don't and, see that. Yeah. And because go ahead, Greg. No, I, I and I think, um, Leighton, you've you've kind of said it. Like, I I don't think that Doran was going to tell Armstrong, "Hey, this is your team, no matter what." Like, I don't think. No. I think he's going to say, "Hey, you're come in, you're going to have a chance to battle for the number one," but. 
It's going to be well, a competition. Like I, I honestly believe that's what Doran said because I don't think that he would necessarily tell MJ, "Hey, buddy, you're on the bench this year." Like I don't, I don't know that yeah, would be could. the case either. But but I mean, you're going to be real with Brennan because I mean, Brennan is yeah. not going to come. Well, if, he deserves if, that. Uh, Brennan's not going to come unless he has a very high likelihood to be the starter, and more than likely, Correct. he's going to be. But at least, I mean, at least, at least, you know, but at least for the first game, right? At least you know he'll be sure. the initial starter, and then you know, and he might you know, be for all season. Right, because isn't that how Carolina? Like, I don't think May was the starter to begin with. Was he? Was it a, before I think, was at the it, beginning of the season? Yes, he was. He was okay. All right, but, um, was but there was competition then? during there, there was competition during the summer ball. Yes. Yeah. yeah so May. yeah. So I, again, I I just think that's the smarter the smarter play. It's going to make everyone everyone a better a better player, and that's what you want. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna drive the the competition level and you get you're yeah. gonna get everyone's best effort and that's and what with you all want. the quarterback injuries which god forbid we don't have we've had i mean that just gives us yeah. another one like to have yeah just yeah. Well, for. and and it goes to again keep in mind uh so so like nicholas uh, says there to you i hope the 2021 armstrong shows up i would understand that doubt if the reason why maybe you saw that decline wasn't glaringly obvious and the fact that you went from a guy like a guy who is a, a hugely upcoming offense coordinator, led successful offenses at BYU, led a successful offense at Virginia, led a successful offense in Syracuse. Look what he did with Gary Schrader. And and Brandon Armstrong lost that and then went to a guy in Des Kitchings, who I love, but he's only been offense coordinator for one year that ever was before. not a good year. That was, one, it was one not of a good year. Years. But we had so a lot of injuries that, that year that, too, so. Correct, but still. So, so it's a glaring like, okay, that is more than likely why we saw that Brennan Armstrong. Uh, so, uh, but the other thing too, which I would say is, again, folks, if we don't see MJ be our starter next year, don't worry about it. That that is perfectly okay because that means two things. First of all, that means Brennan Armstrong's balling out, which I don't think anybody's going to be complaining about Brennan Armstrong balling out because that means yeah. winning games. Secondly, that means again that MJ uses his redshirt. He can be the starting quarterback for two or three more years if he Whatever wants he to, needs, yep. and and he can be have a year in the Thunder uh, development system. He can you know gain some more, which you know I think he definitely needs to, uh, but also to again learn the offense inside now, and he can learn from a quarterback who knows that offense inside out right in his own room. So again, it is a win win for MJ. It is a win win for us because it immediately takes the question of. Like I really hope I think I, I really think so, but I but again we yeah. still hadn't seen him on play on the road. We still hadn't seen him play against you know a top tier ACC defense. So there's still questions there, you know. So but again now we don't have to have that concern going again, and being like I really hope so. I think I really hope so. So <laughs> win win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. But but the last thing which I want to point out for all those who say, well MJ is going to leave now, right? Well. This tweet here, toughest tweet of the week, uh, where Winston, uh, you know, basically tweeted out saying that saying that will be you with the pack soon. I believe you can take the Wolf Pack to the next level. And MJ Morris responds saying, "No doubt the pack can and will win national championship." And you got uh, Javante Vereen, uh, NC State commit, uh, oh, no, you know, well, showing no signee, not commit. I mean, he's he's, he's sorry, locked sorry, in. He's yeah, on yeah, campus. Committed. Yeah, he's on yeah, campus yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, showing like, yep, I'm in agreement with that. Basically, uh, exclamation points and shaking hands emojis for those who are listening in. And then I thought the biggest part, which I uh, was right after that, which I uh, mm -hmm. clipped here on the right as well, was that somebody commented saying with Brennan Armstrong or you, and he and MJ comments saying team yep. first, and then quotes uh, uh, a quote from from uh, from biblical scripture. Uh, he's and doing and saying all the right things, man, and that's what he's you want doing and saying all the right things from and your he's quarterback. He's telling you here, hey, listen, man, team first, which I yeah. mean, in today's day and age where loyalty refreshing. is an odd word, that is 100% refreshing because I think there are a ton of teams out there that would love to have the, a guy like MJ Morris who did what he did last year and take the chances on him. But then they, I think, I truly do believe that MJ and Peyton Wilson, I mean, that's another thing too. I mean, the fact that a guy like that's Peyton me. Wilson <laughs> is coming back to me, again, there and is Trey so Penix. much. Trent Penix will and be Trent Penix, because there was a lot of questions of okay, this guy is not happy. He's he's out of here, like you know. But no, <laughs> he like, there's evidence he's out the yin yang that players and coaches believe in yeah. this culture that Doran has built. There is something here, folks, that is unique, and I'm saying that word unique. And you might say, well, unique got us, you know, eight and four last year. 
Well, again, y'all. Due to injuries. I, you know, live or due to injuries, but also too, again, hey, it's four it's, different quarterbacks. It's right. a build, it's building blocks. We still like, beat Hyman Canada to Drake May. I, I'm just saying. I mean, and 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 also too, I mean, obviously I'm you know not one to put a bunch of investment in big game boomer, but big game boomer put UNC at three and us at four, which I'm like all right, brother, I know you're a little salty because you had NC State as your college football playoff pick, and obviously we did nothing of the sort to back that up. I understand the saltiness with that, but I'm like, come on, bro. We beat ranked teams. We beat UNC. We beat the dog out of UNC with a third or fourth string wow. backup quarterback, man. We didn't come beat on, the bro. dog out of them. We, we beat them. Like, well, but, I, I, but we controlled that game. We man. did. We controlled we that did. game with a third and fourth string quarterback. We did. And with, and with literally our sixth string nickelback. I mean, like Derek Pitts, who yeah. literally was playing cornerback, play nickel and we yep. still beat them like yep. you know like it, it's it's uh, that's why i'm saying like yeah we yeah, i got you big on score but like no there i got was you no reason unc shouldn't have won that game and but we took it to him man we controlled that game so anyway yep. so i'm so, waiting on one tweet yeah. of the week and i'm really hoping it's coming up uh is that it, uh, is that it? did you send it to me i'm sorry i'm sorry kids I'm sorry. Nahim. which one was it i'm sorry oh, Nahim. yeah that was oh, oh, come on how did you forget I'm You're sorry. Fired. Well, that You're was fired. earlier. I was, that wasn't like the most recent well, Give me one, a so. second. Uh, Naheem, I will give you Come credit. on. Yeah, yeah, you got to give Naheem I'm some sorry. love. That, yeah, no. Well, again, definitely, yeah, I got to give Naheem some love, man, no, for man. sure. I mean, hey, Ken, man. Ken, thank you, know. you for keeping us on, on point. Yeah. <laughs> That's my best friend. No. <laughs> At least one that one of us is. Can we just talk about that real quick while you're pulling it up? Like. Like just you know, one glad to hear Hamlin's back in Buffalo. Uh, he's yeah, he's in the hospital, great. still recovering, but um, yeah. good to hear that he's well enough to travel. Yeah. But the whole symbolism of that game, having having been three years and three months since their last kickoff return, the only thing yeah. that would have made that epic is he had done three of them. Like like it was amazing. It would have been what? Like yeah, um, yeah. There we go. There we go, Ken. Yeah. Thank you. Only- the only Bills player to return yep. two kickoffs in one game, yep. and only the eleventh NFL yep. player in NFL history to do I, kick, two kickoff returns for a touchdown. Yeah. Game. Did anyone? Did anyone catch his post game uh, press conference? Did anyone listen to that? Oh no, I didn't listen to it. Yeah. I saw his tweet, but I didn't hear the. Press yeah, I was listening to his um to his um to his post game, and he was just talking about how like he and Hamlin have like kind of become close. Um, just because Hamlin had come up and talked to him at, after one of his practices when he first got there. And then um, the whole quote has been like the, or it's like they kind of created a hashtag was called free Heinz. And because he's been like, so, so, so close to busting one. And so Hamlin tweeted out the other day, hashtag free Heinz. And that just, Hamlin it, was a, the, it, like it a fangirl over Naheem. Dude, <laughs> yeah. he, he was blowing up on Twitter on like, he had like 20 yeah, million was. likes and views and the bestie. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. But, Hey, yeah. glad to hear uh, he's doing much better. Um, yeah. You know, it, the like, like uh, it, it. Honestly, it was just amazing seeing like all these former NFL players just, you know, just kind of what they were been saying and how they've been feeling, and um, mm-hmm. it puts a lot of things in perspective for us casual fans. I mean, not even casual fans, but just you know, people outside of of football. Exactly. Uh, what these guys put on the line to, uh, to that. entertain us. So. Amen to that. Amen to that, Greg. Yeah, and Kans. Yeah, thank you, Kans, for for having my back on that. Yes, I appreciate thank that. you. Yes, thank you, Kans. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Garner, what was it? Garner. What's the what's their uh, mascot? What's Garner's mascot? Trojans. Trojans. I think. Yeah, you're right. I think it is Trojans. Yeah. 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 Blue and gold power. There, uh, Naeem, Man, we appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Yeah, no, definitely representing for sure. Him and Jacoby Myers, man. Jacoby Myers, uh, beast now. In that man. same Ooh. game. In that same I game. I know. I know. There you go. There's the symbolism. They, there's the symbolism. Three. They had three touchdowns in that. Jacoby game. Toe Tap. Yeah, I like that yeah, name. That Jacoby Toe, toe Tap. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was for sure. Yeah, but yeah. Pack pros have been balling in the NFL. Obviously, with uh, I mean, Icky has turned out to be one of one of the top tier offensive tackles, man. Recently, man. Yeah, not I even just rookie. We need it. Not the even, one walk that we needed. <laughs> I know he did. He I did know. take that. He did that. Was Zach was against him in the Bucks game? Yeah, no, absolutely. And then, and then, and then Joe Tooney <laughs> making it to the Pro Bowl for the first time, which oh, is yeah, awesome. Yeah. So again, I mean, just it's you, you it's, got a lot of pack players in the in the uh, playoffs this year. You got you know the Bengals with with Pratt and BJ. And you, got, you got mm-hmm. Naeem. You got Chubb with Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got uh, Joe uh, with the Chiefs. You got um, Russell. Oh wait. 
Sorry. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the Wisconsin version yeah. of Russell. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the that's the what... version left where is left in Seattle. Oh, uh, yeah. I think yeah. there might be one or two more that I'm forgetting, but that's just running off the top of my head. So lots of uh, lots of representation there uh, starting this weekend with the playoffs. So, um, mm-hmm. oh, uh, nope, they didn't make it either. Nope. Okay. Well, that's all I got no. in my head. No. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, I do want to point out Ted uh, uh, to Ted Carreras is yeah. uh, a huge. It's funny. I think he's actually a Georgia Tech follower, but he's a big time in, in city wrestling. And uh, he writes here saying one quick Wolfpack wrestling note. This 22, 2022, 2023 team is in a place to be as good as any team state has ever had. And all of this after losing three starters who combined for eight All-American honors it's and insane. missing a two-time NCAA qualifier. So, I mean, again, and, I, and I'm, I'm saying this once again. Again, Friday night, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, in State vs. Army and Reynolds Coliseum. Make sure to check that out. And then men's basketball, 12 o'clock against Miami. And then 4 o'clock in state gymnastics versus Michigan State. And then Sunday, I think at 3.30, or something like that. It's in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Four, we're talking about women's basketball. Yeah, three thirty. Yeah, three thirty. Yeah. I got it. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> uh, in game, ask the question: DJ Burns or BJ Anya? I personally take Burns because he reminds me of Anya, but more athletic. I mean, uh, DJ Burns got off. Well, what's game. A, what are we talking about? Like, uh, on the quarter at Bojangles? Like, what oh we, wow, what are we, uh, dude? <laughs> well, hey, come I'm on, told, man. hey, look, look. I, uh, I was yeah. joking with uh, with with DJ after the game. I said, man. Between you and me, yeah, you're the better basketball player. That's what I said. I was, I was, really like, I was like, oh, we like to eat. Well, I was know, talking about, I was you talking know about food. You know, that ice cream after oh. every road. <laughs> you hey. know, that just gives him a little He's bit He's probably more. double fist in it. He's no, for sure. Good, and rightfully so. Good for him. Yeah. I mean, dude, that dude yeah. is. He earned, he earned every bit of it. They all did. Amen. They all Amen did. to that. So, Amen yeah. to that. And, and and I'll remind also, too, uh, Wolf Pack Nation as well, is that obviously the, the main guy from wrestling being Trent Hydeley, He's only a junior. You still got another year left. As crazy yeah. as it is to believe, yeah. you still got yeah. another year left, y'all. Yeah. So and we got one more with Jack great... Clark next year too. So, so I mean, uh, <laughs> lost. Yeah. Hey. So so again, NC State fans, I I I, I can't say this enough, but it be is there. an amazing time to be. First of all, yes. First of all, be there Saturday afternoon, twelve o'clock. Be there. Or you suck. I'm just kidding. I'm totally no. kidding. Fans. <laughs> no. Uh, no. If not, um, I'm coming after you. <laughs> with his backwards hat yeah with his backwards hat <laughs> and bat, I love it even better. Uh, oh that's right Ted FSU fan yes no I, yeah, yeah no I feel, I feel you there Ted I'm sorry but uh, but yeah but the other thing which I want to say a reminder everybody too is this is a great time to be an NC State fan enjoy it appreciate it and support all sports y'all again every all single sport anything you can do to support go support it doesn't take much it doesn't take doesn't cost much go do it it is worth the while I guarantee you that uh, fifteen dollars to go see the women play on Sunday at at, at uh, Crapple Hill. So yeah, just saying. So let's That's let's pack it. out the small gym. All right, let's pack it out, y'all. Uh, so uh, with that being said, y'all, the other thing which I want to say from NC side is make sure if you have not checked out part one of our interview with former NC State wide receiver Tobias Palmer, make sure to go check that out right now. As it is live right now so make sure to go and check that out part two will come out thursday at six o'clock so make sure to tune in for that as well and to make sure you do not miss out on that all you have to do is again hit that subscribe button hit that little notification bell it's free to do otherwise greg will come out to you as well and but also too so that way you're notified on all your devices whenever we go live uh with any of our toughy talk content and uh we're more likely gonna be doing some watch parties here soon so that way you're notified for those as well and also too if you haven't already give us a follow up on, on, on twitter and instagram make sure to do that as again we will be covering everything nc state this weekend we will be there at wrestling we'll be there at men's basketball be there at gymnastics and we'll more likely be there for women's basketball too as well and, and definitely greg will be too yes yes yeah, we there. got you greg yes you're there uh except for greg, at wrestling because well, you're getting up saturday game? morning like yeah how dare you, I can't, greg? my wife has to work on friday so like i would take the day off how dare you greg he was got it might not make it the whole game he might get kicked out <laughs> You know, no anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, no promises. I'll keep uh, it clean, but I'll be loud. Michelle. Right. 
yeah, keep it yeah. clean. That's the important thing. Uh, but thank you, Michelle. Appreciate the support, by the way. But again, Wolfpack Nation, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much. Again, we're coming up on two years of Tuffy Talk, believe it or not. We've we are coming up here on our two year anniversary. Cannot thank you enough for all your support and how much we've grown in such a rapid fashion for sure. Definitely when Mike and I started this week, I can speak, I know I can speak for him and say, I mean, we would have never thought it would have gotten to this level where we're sniffing 10,000 followers on Twitter, have over 7,000 subscribers. It's an amazing, amazing thing and uh we don't do it for anything more than just that we love being a part of wolfpack nation and spreading the positivity and excitement that nc state has to offer right now so thank you all so much again for tuning in we will see you all soon and we will keep you in touch as well about the next tufty talk live show but more than likely hopefully we can finally get it back on monday but as always baby go pack we'll see y'all soon thank you all again